pardon have rained. I think I think residents in Geelong don't understand. Ah. <laughs> Melbourne fan TV here with Hamish McLaughlin and Duxy. And Duxy. Duxy. Yeah. Mate, you too. And how are the road works on the way down though? <laughs> Yeah, all right. I don't know, I didn't say too many of them. They're coming up, the cats are coming up, that's all I know. But back, mate. We're still in the top three. If we keep working hard, we might see them in finals, but we may not. In Sydney next week, easy win. Then we got North, easy win. Bombers, easy win. Have you ever cooked any of Petrarca's meals? Where did the scarf come from, though? Our friend. Oh, it's right, so you've stolen it from me. Melbourne Fan TV, here with Hamish. McLaughlin and Duxy. And Duxy. And Duxy. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, obviously as a Melbourne sort of channel, mm. any any words to the Melbourne fans out there? How do you think the game was and how was the call as well? Call was good, good fun. Uh, D's are good. Cats are very good here. So <laughs> I came down, any time the Cats play here, I have them as favourites. Yep. So I tipped them. What is Chris Scott's now? 81 from 95 as the Cats coach here at the Cattery. 81 from 95? D's, um, they do have, what have they kicked? Eight? Oh, in the last four weeks. Looks, yeah. And 8 yeah. 18, 8 yeah. 15, 8 13. We need to straighten up a bit, don't we? Yeah, yeah. it's not good. What did you think, Duxy? Uh, just Geelong were too good. Yeah. What do you think of the target? I love the target. For me, it's probably the most uh, impressive part of any cheer squad ever. And it's the Duxinator's target, isn't it? And there you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's his target. Um, Your target, big boy. Last question, yes. uh, what's on for tonight and who's the best person to commentate with? Oh, that's tricky. I know, it's uh, tricky. Bruce, is the, uh, De Bruce and Dennis. True. Uh, they were both unbelievable to me. They're both extraordinary commentators, yeah. great people. Um, really enjoying Cold with Al Nicholson tonight. Love calling okay. with him. Yep. Um, Daisy's a legend. Yep. Uh, Richo's fantastic. Uh, Hodgie's great. BT, JV. Name them all. I get, uh, they're all good people. Yeah. What about uh, Daisy Fish? No, I said she's a legend. Yeah, she's yeah, in there tonight. Yeah. My cousin as well. Who yeah. hey, Daisy is? Yeah. So you've got the target and Daisy Pierce to football. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks Pleasure. for coming on. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Melbourne Fan TV here after the game. We've made the trip to Geelong, the one-hour sluggish drive, I say. We're here in the wet. Geelong supporter. Absolutely. Mate, great day in the end. Yeah, no, it was a good win. win. Good win for the Cats. Yep. No, I really enjoyed it. We needed it. Uh, good to have you down here again, though. No? And uh, Mate, yeah, I love absolutely. coming down here. I've been down here about five times now, and I don't think I'm ever going to see a win here. I had hopes at three quarter time, but I, I expected you guys to at least bounce back. Yeah, no, we needed to. And how are the road works on the way down, though? <laughs> Yeah, they're all right. I don't know. I didn't see too many. But you didn't see too many. <laughs> had my head in the phone, but um, nah, nah, that's so good. next week Sydney big game. You know, yeah. you don't play Sydney. You know, you, you don't play that ground too well. As no, no. Previous no, years have got, spoken, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We got some curses up there, and uh, uh, with Jezza knocked out tonight, so we'll miss him next week. But we'll, hopefully, we'll get Dangerfield back next week. So yeah. good on you for coming, mate. Good stuff. Melbourne fan TV here in the fucking wet Geelong. Yeah. What, what do you expect, expect it's Geelong? But, hey? What do you expect it's Geelong, mate? Yeah, I know. It's always wet down here. Shit. Shit hole. Yeah. Uh, good, good uh, you wearing Prime Unwind? Prime Unwind, yeah. He just uh, chucked me on his story as well, so shout out Prime Train, one of my good mates, you know. Yep. Uh, Geelong did too good. We are too good for today. Yeah, we were just too good. Uh, absolutely clinical down here at Geelong. Wouldn't have expected anything else, really. Can't believe you were backing in the Ds, but, you know. Is what it is. Why what, wasn't I bar, uh, back in the days? Always back the days, mate. Always back the days, yeah. That's right. Always back your own club, Ducks. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Always next year for the days, I reckon. And uh, finals are just around the corner, I reckon, in a few more years. Well, Geelong have to make the finals, aren't they? Have they keep going? Uh, yeah, I reckon a few more years, the days will be pushing back up for finals again. Just this year, just wasn't their year. But, you know, they'll be back. They'll be back. Yeah, how are the Ge Ge Geelong are getting a, are they, Where are they in the ladder again? Uh, I couldn't tell you, mate, but I reckon we're, we're coming up. The cats are coming up. That's all I know. Well, there you heard it. Thanks. There you heard it, guys. There you heard it. Oh. <laughs> Melbourne Fan TV here with the uh, yeah, pretty passionate man. Got the badge on, got the suit going. Were you in like a presence club or something? Or? No, no, mate. No, no, no. I'm just here through a friend. You know, oh, right. Long yeah. boy, but passionate Melbourne man. Is this your first time at Cadinia? No, this isn't. In fact, this is closing that margin at the end. It's far better than contesting 186, which oh, yeah. I did go to, yeah. and I did witness, and yeah. I did stay to the end. Yeah. It wasn't good. Yeah, I was very young back in those days, so I, I vaguely remember that, but 
Mate, I'm owing five from this stadium. I don't know if I can start come back here anymore. I've almost <laughs> given up. <laughs> no, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. We have hope. Yeah. We have hope. Remember when Gorney kicked a goal after the siren? No crowd. We came, we came back from 45 down. And that was the moment in 2021 when I thought we could do this. This is an important game for the Cats. We're still in the top three. If we keep working hard, we might see them in finals, but we may not. At the G. At the G. <laughs> we can get it home. Over here with Robbie. Robbie. Uh, Sam. Uh, Melbourne fan Robbie and Sam Geelong. That's yeah, it. Mate. That's it. Not, not too happy about today, but it's a good performance yeah, overall. It's pretty wet weather. What could say? Yeah, we're, we're back. We're back. Not losing again this year. <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs> mate, Geelong, no way. No way. Back to back is on. No way. D's are back. We're, yeah. we're on. We're on. This year, we're on. Uh, we got uh, Giants in uh, Alice. You going? Won't be going to, to what? Alice. 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 No way. No way. But we'll be watching very passionately on the TV. In Sydney next week, easy win. Then we got North, easy win. Bombers, easy win. Like, just keep rolling. Well, <laughs> you... <laughs> uh, yep, there we go, Melbourne Fan TV, here with Noah, a good mate of mine, good yes. to see you mate. Um, Doss, he's cracked the shits. Yeah, he's gone home. What, why? Uh, he should be out here, he should be doing this interview got a, with he's you. Got, he's got a big event on tomorrow, so he's right, strapping up for that one, so yeah. yeah. Must be happy mate. Oh yeah. Back on track. We're back mate. Yeah. We're back. What about Cameron? Is what happened to him? He's concussed, so he's out for next week. Um, Could be, depending on how severe the incident was. Could be the week after as well, but... Well, I thought Gary Rowan should be the one in trouble after yeah, that one, but... True. Nah, it'll be right. Yeah. Have a, have a couple of weeks off. We'll Woo! Sydney next week up in Sydney. That's an easy win. <laughs> um, buddy. Nah. <laughs> Who's nah. Buddy? Nah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah. Good man. Good to see you, mate. Well done. Good ah. Go. So, Melbourne Fan TV here with Jake. Yeah. G'day, mate. How you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, we have found out the free kick count. It was 21 apiece. 21 all. I did see that. Uh, I didn't hear it. Uh, Hold on a minute. I, I didn't see it. I heard it. Big, big call. Um, how good's Petrarca? How, uh, actually, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever cooked any of Petrarca's meals? No, but he's going to teach me someday. I'll give you one tip. The sautéed chicken noodle salad is the bomb. It's so good. I've had it myself. And there you heard it. Melbourne Fan TV, here with the Melbourne fan. Bad luck today. It was, it sort of stung in the end, but hey, I, I, I expected that from John. Yeah, we were stiff, we were stiff. I thought we were a chance when it started raining, and uh, geez, they'd come to play in the last quarter. Do you reckon it would have been different if it hadn't have rained? I think, I think residents in Geelong don't understand uh, the cameras. <laughs> Did you think it would have been a different scenario if, if, it, if it rained or not? Because it didn't rain in the last quarter. Maybe yeah, if it rained. To be honest, I don't think won. the rain really changed the game too yeah. much. Yeah. Um, it brought Viney into it, but it also brought Atkins and Close and all those boys mm. and for them into it as well. Yeah. But Chuck was pretty good. Yeah, he played. I don't know why he was playing deep forward in late in the last. We needed right. him in the middle to get it out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, well, we oh, played well. GWS in Alice. Easy beach. Come on, come on, be right. we're they're they're going we're well, GWS. Yeah, we're not great in the Alice lately <laughs> yeah, either. Yeah, exactly. Nah, thanks for coming on, mate. No worries, we'll mate see you back at the G. Melbourne Fan TV here with Chabby. How you going? I'm doing great, mate. What a win. I'm telling you, mate, we're finals bound. We're coming back. What, what are we sitting in our 10th? We'll sit, we'll be in the 8th in no time, Duxy. Don't you worry, mate. Yeah, who we got uh, next week? Oh, we've got Sydney in Sydney uh, Friday night. So, Fly tough. Fly up. No, I'm not flying up to that one. Uh, I'll be watching Ooh. it from home. Oh, no, I haven't made an interstate trip yet, but, you know, it's on the cards soon. What do you think of that, Geelong fans? <laughs> uh, comment down below. <laughs> no, what I was going to say, going to say, not even the umpires could save Melbourne tonight, I tell oh, you. Yeah. They had literally every free kick of the night, and oh, we still Ge won. What was the Geelong free kick out? Geelong, oh, I don't know. I've got Melbourne, I don't know. Team, it's a, <laughs> it's a bit of a cow paddock out here, isn't it? It's a bit of a cow paddock out here. Nah, but Duxy, mate, uh, you said D's by 10 at the start of the game. Yeah, yeah but I did say Geelong at 4 at the start beforehand, and then I switched to Melbourne. Well, Duxy, the proof's in the pudding, mate. We're back. Flycats are back, baby. Fan TV here with, I don't know what's going on here. You've got the D scarf, you've got the cat scarf. 
Who, who, no. who just sucks? Go cats. cats! Go cats! Go cats! Boo the D's! Boo what about, D's. where did the scarf come from though? Our friend. Ah, oh, <laughs> right, so cats. you've stolen it from him. He's cracked the shits, has he? No. Yeah, he's gone. What about, what about tonight, guys? Must oh, be impressed. No, the the D's did well today, um, but cats just always better. Yeah. Um, always better for the cats. I was nervous today walking <laughs> to here, but otherwise, Come on, the cats. Yeah, well done. Yeah, Melbourne Fan TV here with Jack. What was that? Uh, that was disappointing. Um, this team is shit, and I hate this team. Um, <laughs> every time you talking about Geelong. Them, I'm talking about Geelong. Uh, the oh. stadium shit. The the people are beyond. Shit. The Geelong supporters that are Melbourne based, they're not too bad. But the Geelong supporters <laughs> that live here. They're very questionable. I don't know if they drive to work or if they get dropped off, you know what I mean? Or well, they still there, still cars. Yeah, well, I'll see, there you go. You know, exactly. One plus one is two, Duxy. Yep. They're, they're, <laughs> we're going to win the flag at the end of the year, like I called when we did last time. Yes, I you called did. it, did I not? Mid season, yeah, after we did. got absolutely fucking pumped. Called it, we won the flag. I'm calling it again. This is the year. I haven't called it since we won it. This is the year. We're coming back. You know what, I actually wouldn't mind if it was Geelong in the fucking flag because they, they really do fuck all outside of Kadinya. Melbourne Fan TV here with? Uh, Peter Cullen. Uh, I want to say also I'm from Recklink Australia and I've just put out a book on footy called The Power of a Footy. All about how footy saves lives. We do midweek football with people who have uh, very often struggling with suicidal feelings, dealing with addiction, mental health issues normally wouldn't play on the weekend. It's really about including the unincluded. If you buy our book, it supports our work uh, during the week. We have 75 different sports, 110, we're in 110 local government areas, and it's multi-sports, uh, multi-welfare agencies, but the power of engagement, and there's 32 really, it's a really unique and different look at sport, yeah. And the book's called The Power of a Footy. Yeah, uh, I, I know I have a few footy teammates myself that play at Recklink uh, for Collingwood, Mayor, the Collingwood team, and Casey Cobras as well. Okay, yeah, that, thanks. That's a really good lead and interesting leading for the footy public. The Recklink uh, Collingwood Magpies community team is part of the Collingwood um, structure of teams and sporting teams now so it's a great credit to the Collingwood. I'm a Geelong uh, supporter as you can see I've just come out and I've got my friends here from Melbourne Th that would be an interesting uh, an interesting fact and more recently Nick Larkey has showed a tremendous interest in the work of Recklink and he'll be coming down to our Werribee we do sports equipment for disadvantaged communities so we're looking for sports equipment We've got an online program. If you're struggling a bit at home with depression or anxiety, it can look Recklink up and have free opportunities. It might be just the thing that gets you going, and sometimes it's hard to get out of the house, but if you get active, it might be a pathway to get out of the house and uh, get one's life moving again. Because people can get into some pretty low spaces for all sorts of reasons, and it is an epidemic in Australia and bringing people out of isolation into community. We believe in health uh, through community. So if you need any support, call us at RecLink 9419 One of the things you boys were talking about is the power of the crowd. I reckon it's underestimated. More recently, I've been nicknamed the 19th man, and uh, there's a reason for that. Would, would you like me to... Oh, I'd love to hear story? that. Now, you are Melbourne supporters, so you might find this a bit rough. But I believe in the power of the crowd. I came to a Geelong, I hadn't been to a Geelong game for a while. It was the first time I'd taken my daughters. It was, uh, uh, I couldn't believe how quiet the Geelong crowd were in comparison to other crowds. You know, I looked around and I was starting to really think about it. Geelong was six goals down. It looked like they were cooked. It looked like they were completely done. Um, it's coming up to three quarters of time. You might even remember that night yep, yourself. Yep, yep, we do. Um, yeah, Geelong are done. Uh, now, a bloke uh, got on the microphone and said, please, please, he virtually begged the crowd. I thought to myself, I'm going to do something about this. 
I'm going to take full responsibility. My daughters are on either side. They'd never been to the football with their father at a Geelong game. They'd been to the football at, at this stadium. And I thought, uh, so I got up on the seat and started chanting. One minute later, I felt completely, it felt like a minute anyway, I don't know whether it was, I was completely red-faced. Yeah. I couldn't involve anyone. Then all of a sudden, the people at the front started to get involved, and I turned around and started the chant this way, ch started the chant, and I was really into it, full on into it, and it was really exciting. Anyway, the crowd started to get involved, Geelong started to get a goal, then they got another goal, Melbourne got a goal, and Geelong got a goal, another goal, and every time we would really get into this. Anyway, two he marks on the siren, I knew he wouldn't miss. The ball goes straight through the middle and everybody goes berserk. Women come running out of the corporate box. This is no word of a lie. My daughters will tell you. And they kept that. They, they, um, they came up to me and and um, <laughs> sort of congratulated me, really, and basically thanked me for being there, thanked me for getting the crowd um, going. People at the front of me were saying, "Are you coming back next week?" But this is the moment of confirmation. You can see this for yourself. Chris Scott, who, you know, I'm sure all those coaches just want to get those press conferences done. He finishes the press conference with, I just want to make a comment. We would never have won without the crowd tonight. And that was the big confirmation of the power of the crowd. Geelong supporters, get behind them! There you heard it. And Zach Terry didn't win the game. Peter Cullen did. No. I, I can't go that so far, but I, I, the power of the crowd, I'd like to believe I was a catalyst in that victory. They are starting to call me the 19th man, so and probably these days it's the 23rd man. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, well, there, there, there is something in it. The yeah. power of encouragement. We can all encourage one another. That's the sort of energy it gives us. And there you heard it. Well, that's going to conclude the episodes for tonight. Uh, this is an end of an era. I don't ever see myself coming back here, mate. No. I'm bad luck. I agree. Yep. I well done to Geelong, though. No, well done to Geelong. Yeah, Obviously, they needed it. But one day we'll get there. We will be at Alice Springs next week, next Sunday. So we've got a little bit of a break. We've got a nine or ten day break. That'll you'll, be interesting. You'll, you'll be at Alice. Oh, we'll pretend Ducks is going to Alice. To those yeah. in Alice Springs, I don't know if I have many viewers there. Come on in. It's GA, so we're just standing, come for an interview, keen to get, you know, different kinds of people on, see what the, uh, the community is sort of like around Alice Springs and at Trigger Park. Hamish! <laughs> interview, quick, a quick one. Yeah, yeah, quickly, quick, quick. he said, come on, he said, come on, he said, come on.